We're just gonna tuck ourselves in, get on the brakes early, and sort of, whoa, Hulkenberg and, and Perez touch out of corner one. There's my teammate, Max Verstappen, going very, very slowly. I have been waiting for this for so, so long. This is F1 2017. We got our hands on it early, boys, and I am so excited to get into this game. So a couple little bits of housekeeping before we get into any racing at all. Uh, the giveaway that I promised is coming soon. We just have to wait for the game officially to come out. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, and uh, look out for it. Maybe this Friday should be pretty interesting. I realize there's probably going to be a lot of people watching this video who haven't watched me before. So one, hi, uh, I'm Nick, and uh, I played a lot of F1 2016. We actually just yesterday finished our F1 2016 season with part uh, 22. By 22, I mean 42. If you are watching me for the first time, hi, uh, you can subscribe down below for more types of videos like this. And you might be saying, well, why are we doing things this way? Well, we will get into it. So I've, I've just reset my save here just so we have a completely new thing. And a cool thing that we can do in this game is we can import our save from F1 2016. So we're gonna do that and just jump into this game like you will once you guys get it. So obviously you go and adjust your hood and you have to create your driver. But because we played F1 2016, we already have all our information here. I just want to make sure there's no more accurately looking faces. I don't know if there's any new ones in here. My info's already in there. Accept. So let's start up our career. Now this is the part where new viewers might be saying, well, why are you starting up this way? Well, in F1 2016, I wanted the things that we did in F1 2016 to matter once we got over to F1 2017. So in F1 2016, we were able to do two seasons. We started our first season with McLaren Honda. After that season, we were given a contract by Williams. That was also a year long contract. And then after that contract, we were given a contract by Red Bull. If you watched the video yesterday, you might have seen that. If you haven't, I'll link to it in the description down below. It was a pretty good one. Anyways, so because I want this stuff to matter, we're gonna be joining up with Red Bull. And the worst part about this is we have to choose our teammate, either Daniel Ricciardo or Max Verstappen. And the problem with that is whichever one we don't choose isn't gonna be in the game. So who do we want more? Mr. Smiley Smiley? or Mr. Crashy Crashy. I think I wanna go with Max Verstappen. He is my favorite F1 driver, we gotta do it. It's already saving all our info from, from the previous game. Now, I don't know if my AI difficulty 91 has anything to do with the last game, but just because I'm a little bit scared, I'm gonna drop it down to 85, see what happens. If we need to change things, we'll change things for the next part and we'll sort of learn. But remember, 91 was our sort of place. And as always, the best part about starting up a new F1 game, we get to come to one of my favorite tracks. We're in Australia, boys. Whoa, okay, so apparently we're not hitting up Australia just yet. We are jumping in. <gasps> Christian, Emma Jenkins, what up? As requested, there's a copy of your contract. Oh, thank you. Can I see it's how you're screwing deal. me over? However, the team reserves right of termination if you fail to meet performance standards. What are you talking you about firing me already? No, you should turn your I'm phone off when you're having a meeting. I'm also some invitational events throughout the season. The experience and exposure from these will be great for your image. And good luck. Oh, I'm excited. All right, let's go to Australia, man. New contract. Welcome to Red Bull Racing. We're delighted to have you on board and we look forward to race working with you closely on the upcoming seasons. You will start as our second driver alongside your teammate, Max Verstappen, that's so cool. We expect you to work together to help to develop the car and the team as quickly as possible. Now let's get out there and win some points. Uh, this is what we do need to sort of talk about before we get into this. As per my driving style, I'm pretty hard on engines and gearboxes and things like that, and sometimes tires. Now in F1 2017, we only have four sort of like parts and we can swap them out only four times as per F1 rules. And if we do any more than that, we're gonna need to sort of, or we will get some penalties, which is annoying. Now, anyways, without further ado, we've already wasted enough time. Let's go out and practice, boys. So let's get into this garage tutorial. We, we know how the garage works, we're all good. Um, so let's take a look at our session info. We're in practice one, we have some new practice programs to do. I'm not gonna do all of them every single video, uh, but we will try to jump between them depending on what part we're doing, so uh, yeah. The only crappy thing about recording a video today, it's currently Saturday when I'm recording this, uh, and the game doesn't come out until next Friday. So there's no tunes up on anywhere, so I can't tune my car, so anyways, whatever. We should be fine first race. I'm on a lower difficulty than I guess the game suggested, but it is my first time in the new cars. We're gonna have to see how I do. 
but let's just jump on track, man. I just want to drive. We're going to start up the track acclimatization, see what we can do, and we should be pretty good. So now, I did say that we have a giveaway going on. Now, I will promise you guys we are going to get some codes in fairly shortly. Now, when I was asking the person who, uh, who deals with the F1 codes, I just said, can we have as many codes as possible, please? And they were like, we'll work on something. So, um, we'll see how many we get. Stay tuned for the giveaway. Stay subscribed. It should be pretty cool. Uh, I know how many of you guys are super, super excited for this game. One of the things I'm noticing already about these cars is just how much they vibrate. I think they're a little bit lower than the F1 2016 cars. I know they're wider. They've got fatter tires and things like that. I don't know if they're actually lower. And basically, this thing is just like bouncing along the road almost. My steering wheel is vibrating so, so much. It is crazy. Obviously, like I already said, um, I'm used to the F1 2016 cars, so please don't hate too much if I'm not super in tune with how the new cars drive just yet. I can honestly feel a little bit more grip, but maybe not as much as you'd think. I have played this game a little bit, though, I should say, before doing this. I played it at E3 2017. Um, I was only on a controller, though, and I was only in some... Oh, my God. I was only in a couple of different cars, but... Anyways, my score... Oh, are you serious? I was five points off the target score. All right, we're gonna need to nail that. See if we could get this. I'm just really hoping that I don't come dead last in my first F1 2017 race. Like, that'd be really bad. Is that gonna be enough? Hey, nailed it. All right, let's pull over and uh, do another practice program. Maybe a new one. Let's go uh, Let's go back to the garage. Let's, let's see what there is. I, I believe there's a fuel saving one. Hey, hard work pays off. Thank you, game. Complete your first practice program. So now my new one was fuel saving. Yeah, so fuel saving, you need to do lap times faster than a certain amount, but also try to conserve your fuel at the same time. It's a little bit difficult from what I've heard. I haven't personally tried it myself, but let's give it a go. In this program, we want to focus on fuel saving technique. Lift and coast through corner entry to save as much as you can while keeping under the minimum lap time. Engineer saying coast through the corner entries. I mean, I can try. Like, I'm lifting as much as possible, but I have a feeling my time is going to drop down into the red. That's the scary thing. I can't just coast around every corner. I'm coasting, I'm coasting, I'm coasting. I'm... This is hard. Like, look at my fuel. It's in the red completely. <laughs> and my time's in the red, too, because I've been coasting everywhere. How am I supposed to do this? Like, they want me to lift through things like that? Oh, they do. So it's no braking, it's just completely lift. Oh, I see. There we go, there we go, up into the green now. Oh, there we go, I got it, I figured it out. We good, we can coast a little bit more, man. Keep coasting, keep coasting. Keep coasting, we're good. Oh no, my time, my time, my time, my time, my time, no! Oh, no! No! Oh, we were good! Oh, we ruined it right at the end! I lifted too much! Ah! Alright, if we pull in a uh, fast lap on the Ultrasofts, we got three laps to do it, we get 50 points. Let's try. We gotta get... Uh, oh, it doesn't tell me what my lap time is. Oh, 127.3. I think that should be possible. I mean, like I said, I don't really know... What, what type of times I'm going to be doing in these new cars, but I'm green. Red. It feels good not to coast now, though, through the corners. Feels very good. I love how much my, guy he my guy's head moves. He's really getting, like, tossed around in here. It's almost like Stroll. Kvyat, you need to get- Oh, I had to coast through there. Kvyat, you need to get out of my way, man. I'm trying to set a quick lap, man. I'm on the Ultrasofts. I saw that coming a mile away, man. Hey, I got an achievement for rewinding. Deja vu. Da -da 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 -da. He pulled over this time. Thanks, man. Why couldn't you do that before? My time is so close to being red, though. We're, we're gonna need to do another lap to see if we can get a purple one. Purple one? Purple wine? We'll see. Let's see. Times? Times? Am I gonna even... The purple time's gonna be super fast. Well, that lap beats our primary target time. Primary target time beaten. What is the purple time? Purple time is a 126. I don't think I'll be able to do that. We're one second red, man. That's not fast enough. That is nowhere near fast enough. Try one more time. One more time, man. We need that Ferrari back there. 
That's what we need if we want to set a quick time. All right, let's uh, let's go back to the garage. Oh my god, those practice programs are hard. So like I said, we're not going to do every single one of them every single time. But I mean, we got 30 points out of the 50. That's okay. I mean, let's head to... How do I... Session info. Timing, blah, 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 blah. End session. End P1, please. Thank you. Oh, shit. This is cool. Walking into the Red Bull bus. Okay. What's going on in here? Yo, who's that? Who are all these people? <gasps> You're the upgrade guy. Welcome to home away from home. Thank you. I like this place. We get more real-time data from the factory now than ever before. All right. So let's take a look at the new resource points. We've got a huge resource tree. So... We got a bunch of resource points for doing that session. We did eight laps. That's really cool. Like, look how many point Team... Initial team allocation, we get 3,000? Like, if this was in 2016, that'd be good. We'd be, like, we'd be rolling in the dough. This thing is massive. Oh, my God. There's even sub ones. First driver bonus, pit stop efficiency, upgrade speed. This is pretty cool. All right. So, as a Red Bull, what do we need? Do we want durability? I mean... The cars sometime break down. I mean, our engine helped us so much in F1 2016. Maybe let's take a look and do some of these. So it's going to be a thousand resource points to do a new engine. And it's going to take two weeks. Powertrain performance comparison. No way. We can see our performance in relation to everyone else. Upgrade quality control. Let's do quality control because the engine is such an important part of our car. I think we're going to need that. Then let's develop a new engine. That's going to take two weeks to do. So that's a minor, minor change. Oh, we got a cheap. I wasn't even paying attention. I heard the noise, but I didn't even like acknowledge it. So maybe let's get a new uh, front wing. Efficiency or quality control? Let's go efficiency. Why not? That was a thousand points. Oh shit. I didn't realize how expensive that was until I clicked A. All right. So the research and development stuff in this game is just going to be huge. We're going to need to pay very, very close attention to that. All right. Well, let's uh, get on the track, boys. Wait, no, I don't want one shot qualifying. What? No, this is not what I agreed to. I guess it didn't transfer all my settings properly because I don't want to do one shot qualifying. I guess because of how long this video has been already, I guess I guess it will make sense to just do one lap. But I mean, if we screw it up, boy, we're screwed. So uh, don't screw it up. All right, cool. Okay, so uh, let's try to give this a go. The track is so bouncy. It's unbelievable. Now, I don't see a time. I don't see a rival. And I think I was late on the DRS there. All right, come on, break. I don't see anyone on the track. I don't really know what's going on. Like, in F1 2016, you would see a time and you would see, like, the go- There were you. So apparently I was uh, doing pretty well because I think I was in first. Now I'm dropped down to 11th after my uh, car decided to become a Formula Drift car. We're up in sixth. Come on. We need some more pace than that. We got this, man. We got this. Maybe we are on the right difficulty, though. I mean, if it wasn't for my little- deciding to spin we would have been doing really well i'm down into eighth now i just had a lack of judgment through that corner come on i love these new cars though they're so nice to drive they're so satisfying i gotta adjust to them though you can you can definitely tell i'm not super comfortable in it just yet yeah we gotta get very used to it anyways for a first go eighth ninth oh whoa, whoa, tenth place tenth tenth place oh ninth place actually we, we got someone there complete a valid lap qualifying using the maximum fuel anyways that didn't go super super well it was just a not super clean lap which is why i didn't want to do one shot qualifying because we only get one shot at doing it obviously i mean verstappen's fifth place i'm ninth i was actually quite a bit off of him sadly can we take a look at the starting grid like we used to in f1 2016 Oh, yes, we can. Louis on top with Vettel right next to him. Wow, they finished very, very close together. Less than 0.1 seconds. Wow, Kimmy's actually in there as well. That is super fast. Our teammate Max Verstappen up in fifth. And then we've got... Uh, where was Bottas? Oh, but Bottas was in fourth. My bad. Uh, I was like, where's the other Williams driver? Then I remembered. The other Williams driver. Lance Stroll down in 14th. Palmer 16th. We've got the McLaren 17th, 18th. Oh, God. And then we got the Sauber boys, Veriline and Ericsson bringing up the rear. It's crazy just how different the cars are this season. Race strategy. Let's take a look at this. So we're on the Ultra Softs. Those are my Ultra Softs that I used in qualifying, my one shot qualifying. It's very annoying. Anyways, we're going to come in on lap six, then get on the Super Softs and go to the end of the race. I think that's going to be a good strategy. It's going to be all clear skies today. All right, first time F1 2017 off the line. Rich revs, clutch in, rev it up. 
Whoa, that was a really five red lights out real quick. Hulkenberg with a very good start. Massa with a good start, making a little bit of a jump. Perez got a similar start to me. We're just going to tuck ourselves in, get on the brakes early. And sort of, whoa, Hulkenberg and, and Perez touch out of corner one. There's my teammate, Max Verstappen, going very, very slowly. I think that's Hulkenberg right on my outside. He's not going to give that up. I'm going to get on the brakes early again, see if I can get past my teammate. Bottas got passed by Massa. That Williams is very, very quick. I don't know how the hell he's managed that, because uh, Buddy Stroll not doing so well. Anyways, fifth place for Bottas. I believe Hamilton is leading the race. I don't know. I can't really tell right now. Well, that's not our goal right now. we got to pass these guys. We're still in rich revs. I'm going to hold it in rich revs the entire first lap. Now, one of the problems with F1 2016 is that the AI first lap out was always super, super slow. We'll see if they fix that in this game, but it feels like they might be a little bit slower. It might just be my difficulty is on a little bit easier than it should be. I'm getting on the brakes a little bit early. I'm sort of playing it safe here, you can tell, with a little bit of corner cutting as well, because I'm not paying attention. All right, let's check it down to standard revs. Start chilling, close that up, and we should be good to uh, just settle into our laps here. Bottas does not look happy to be behind, to be behind Massa. I'm just going to say that. I think the only reason we're close to two guys is because Massa is holding them up. Whoa, I'm going to... A little bit of late braking there. That was accidental. But I'll take the pass on Bottas. Old teammate, as I go past him, giving him one of those. Louis goes and sets the fast lap, so he must be in first. All right, we'll see if we can catch up to Massa, though. I think our car is technically faster, so we should be able to. I got a one hell of a start, though. I think Verstappen had a pretty bad start, though. I don't know exactly what went on there, but we'll have to see. And if an engine blows up, as is so, so prominent now in F1... Uh, we'll see if anything goes wrong. Those McLaren boys, who knows? We will have to see. I really want to catch up to this Williams, though. It still blows my mind just how wide these front tires are. They look like your car in F1 2016. Those look like the rear tires. This, this thing's just huge now. I'm really liking, like, the, the sun and stuff and the reflections. It looks really good. Kimi goes and sets the fast lap might actually be uh, passing Hamilton. Bottas going to go for a little look. Does he have DRS? No, he doesn't. Oh, wow, I bumped the wall. Then I bump into Bottas. Bottas is going to get me along the straight. I'm dropping down to sixth place, actually. That's not cool, man. We got to get him. Oh, no. And Mr. Crashy Crashy is back there. That's not what I want. All right, we got Bottas and a little bit of braking. We got to settle in with these older cars. I haven't done any practice race in this game. I just wanted to make sure the whole thing was working. This is my first race ever. This feels pretty intense. Bottas. Whoa, Bottas flying up the inside. Bottas got the inside line. Gonna leave him room. Leave him room. Wheel to wheel. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Oh, he got us. He got us. He made us stomp on the brakes. Oh, man. Are we gonna get DRS out of here, though? Formula Drift car again. Louis goes and sets fast lap. I do have DRS. But I think my teammate's also gonna have DRS. Probably. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man, and Bottas is gone. No one's in the pits yet. I think this difficulty might be uh, pretty good, though. I mean, it doesn't seem like the AI is super hard. I mean, you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below, though, what you think, but I'm, I'm okay with this, I think. But yeah, basically, if, if I feel like we're starting to slow Verstappen up, we're just going to sort of let him go. We're going to follow our own sort of team orders, figure out what to do. But I think right now we... I mean, there's sections of the track where I'm faster than he is, and there's sections where he's faster. So, I don't want to do anything just yet. We'll see what happens in the pit stops. Oh, Verstappen. Oh, Verstappen, bro. Bro! I'm going to let you pass team orders. I'm going to give you a pass. Uh, bro? Bro? Please drive properly. I'm going in this lap, though. I don't want to risk it. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Uh, where's the line? Break. Oh, they give me a racing line in here. Apparently it doesn't work though because I have just gotten on a penalty. There we go. Nailed it that time. It always takes us like two tries to nail a pit stop. All right, come on boys. Come on. Oh, not a good time to come in. 2.6 seconds and we got held up there. We might get jumped. Please don't jump me. Please don't jump me. Please don't jump me. Please don't. Yeah. Okay, good. Soft tires. Our fuel is doing fine. Disengage pit limiter. Oh, for fuck's sake. We... Didn't know that was manual. And go. Oh, yes. And they give me a racing line out of the pits. Oh, that is brilliant. Thanks, game. Yo, why do I get DRS here, though? Was it because I was really close to Verstappen, like, all the way back there? I guess so. 
Anyways, we are currently in 14th place. Massa has pitted, and he's in front of us. We'll need to see where guys like Verstappen, Bottas, guys like that start to pit, because they should be going in pretty soon. Maybe we've gone with, like, a brilliant undercut strategy, though. Maybe they're all gonna, like, hold each other up in the pits. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Where are we gonna come out of the pits? Are we gonna be in front of Verstappen? Are we? Oh my god, yes we are. We're way in front of Verstappen. We're up in ninth place now. That must have been one hell of an outlap. Just saying, the undercut seemed to have worked pretty well. 7.0 seconds to Massa. Well, that's a lot. How is all this doing? All of this seems actually okay. It's all like 13, 14%. That's fine. That's totally fine, and our fuel is doing uh, just fine, and our, t and our tires are all good. All right, that's good. We're, we're looking good, boys. Is Massa pulling? 7.6 second gap. Yeah. Whoa, Kimi goes and sets fast left. Whoa, Hamilton goes and ups him. That was pretty quick. It was a very short-lived fastest lap for Kimi. Oh, here are some people in the pits. Stroll is in the pits, jumping onto the Ultrasoft, and I am jumping back up into sixth place, where I rightfully belong. Thank you very much. So... Verstappen is 1.5 seconds behind me. That's not bad. But we're like 7 seconds behind Massa, which is totally not okay. Let's try to start putting in some really fast laps. We still have a couple laps to go in this race. I think we'll be okay if we can maybe catch him. I'm asking for the quick times. I'm getting the quick time now. How is Massa this quick, though? Like, those Williams I know are fast, but I didn't know they were that fast. Like, I my... In my mind, it always went Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull, Williams, Force India. Just saying. My, my red light keeps coming on in the bottom right, which I'm not very happy about. I see it's a temperature for something. I, I would imagine it's oil temperature. I don't know exactly what it's for, but it keeps coming on every now and again. And it's making me a little nervous. There it is. There's the red light. The red light's on. I don't know what it's for, but it keeps coming on. Damn, the, ma the gap to Massa now is 6.4. So I'm really catching up to Massa. Does the car in front have a problem? 6.1 seconds to Massa. Oh man, we are catching him fast. Just the question is, is are we going to have enough to catch him up in this race? Gap to Massa now, 5.1. Yes, he's definitely having car trouble. Oh, he's breaking down in race one, boys. Come on. Come on, we got to get him. Oh, yes, come on. We gotta push hard. Oh, we need to absolutely fly. We've pulled away from Verstappen. We are pushing so hard. Apologies for the next couple of laps, the lack of com- There's Massa! The next couple of laps will have a lack of commentary. I wanna catch him. I wanna catch him real bad. Oh, we got- Kimi Raikkonen is out of the race! What happened to Kimi? We were talking about breaking down cars. And Kimi Raikkonen, on lap 13 of this race, is out. Where is- I'm going the wrong way. Is this Kimi? Do we see a bang? I don't know what Vettel and Kimi's helmet looks like. Number seven? Oh, that- that would be Kimi. Just pulled over. There was no smoke or anything. Let's check his mirrors. Yeah, there's- there's nothing behind him. I don't know what happened. Maybe that's a new thing for F1. Cars just are like, nope, I don't want to race anymore. That won't be a safety car, because he's pulled over to the side of the track. But maybe it'll get Massa to slow down a tiny bit. 4.6 second gap now. Raikkonen is all the way up here. Yellow flag through this sector. I'm not slowing down. Maybe Massa will. There he is down there. That's going to move us up to fifth place. I like the little no overtaking thing in the top left there. It looks pretty good. We got one lap to go. I cannot believe he blew up basically on the last lap of this race. Oh my god, I can see Massa. We're just too far. We're just too far. 4.4 seconds. Unless he has a problem, we're not going to get him. And we thought Massa was breaking down. Turns out the person who broke down was Raikkonen. I don't even know why. Like, it, it's got to be some type of engine trouble or something. I just wasn't expecting it from him, of all people. And there's Massa again. Again, he's just too far. He's not going to blow up. Oh, that's frustrating. This was a good race for us, too. I mean, fifth place is nothing to be ashamed about. It's some pretty good points. Lewis Hamilton, though. Race winner. Well played to him. Massa is not going to be blowing up in this race. Unless something goes horribly wrong now. But we're going to be bringing home fifth place here in Australia. 
That went pretty well, I think, for a first race on a brand new game in brand new cars. Thank you very much, squad. That went well. Good job, you did really well. Super driving. Yeah, fifth place. Nothing to be ashamed about. We beat our teammate. I think we had a faster lap time than him, I would imagine. Like, he wasn't really catching us, so maybe? Oh, Toto. We're going to see the smash hand at some point in this season. I know it. So there's Louis picking up first place. And it's going to be Vettel second and Bottas third. That is so cool, man. This this game looks really good. Like, well played. All right, so I finished fifth. Did pretty well. Verstappen only picked up uh, eight points, so that's not great. Mercedes picking up a lot of points. I cannot believe... On the second to last lap, he blows up his engine. Lance Stroll. Oh my god, Lance Stroll finishing 17th place. Hello! And this is Jonathan. Who are you? He's going to let you drive some of his cars. I have it on good authority that you have the ability and temperament to do well in these. Thanks, man. I'll go crash your car. Well, we can drive a Williams from 1996 or a Renault from 2006. That's going to be a pretty good sounding car, I think. I mean, we're not going to do it now. We'll do it next time. Invite only. But anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe down below for more types of videos like this in your subscription box. Episode 2 is going to be pretty soon, so stay tuned. Giveaway coming soon as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.